Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Kavinsky's Tutorials. Very brief one today, looking at the first major update to Fluss by Brambos and Heinbach. And this is a really nice little update. So the first thing you can notice is that we've now got a choice between light mode and dark mode, just by clicking over here. Love the dark mode, so I'm going to be sticking to that. Another thing is, by double tapping on the Flus logo, we can randomize everything. So that works the same as Shake worked in the original release version. I think a lot of people will prefer just being able to double tap here to randomize things instead of having to actually lift up your iPad and shake it. But by far the most interesting thing is the individual control over playheads, and that is found over here. So first of all, what I did here was I just recorded from iVox, uh, which is a Polyvox emulation, one of my favorite synth release, sorry, synth releases of the year. Absolutely brilliant. Just recorded a little C major pentatonic scale. You can see that here. Now you can't hear anything because I've got the grains all turned down, but let's just turn them all up. And now, how did flus work before? Basically, it worked like this, right? So watch here. Every time I click on the WAV form or the buffer, they all jump to that position. And then depending on our scan settings, they'll all either stay there or they'll start moving around backwards or forwards. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch my main tutorial. 40 minutes long on flus. So this is how the original version worked, but now we have more options. So now I've clicked here, and now we can see that orange is selected here. Now watch what happens when I click. Now the orange grain will jump. Let's bring these down a little bit just so you can hear it more clearly. Right, so you can already see this opens up much more control. So you can really record in a little sequence and then jump around and play notes at whatever point you want them to appear at instead of just leaving everything to how the scan settings work, so I love this extra element of control. And then if we press again, now we're getting control over the lilac playhead. Press again, now we're controlling the blue playhead. Make that one go backwards. Brilliant. There have also been a lot of other little changes under the hood, like some changes to the colors here that help colorblind people, and other things you can read about in the App Store description. Let's try 
a randomization that apparently has also been optimized. So, there we go. I'm really glad to see Bram listening to user feedback. This control over playheads, especially uh, for me, is something that I really wanted to see and I'm very glad it's been added. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I say, if you haven't, uh, do check out my 40 minute full walkthrough on Flus and give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, etc. if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.